So when we look at astrology in general, how it was originally used was to help people guide themselves to their lives, but primarily to help the people who ruled the countries guide, the, guide their countries. The astrologers would learn how different positions of planets in the sky affected different things around them in the environment. They would be able to give guidance and advice of what to do when and what comes, what comes next. And then when the yogis started working with astrology, one of the reasons they liked to use astrology was that it was enable them to have a better understanding of the karmas of a lifetime. Why is the soul here? What's the purpose of the soul's journey? How can we use astrology with things like yoga and Ayurveda and other sciences to uh, enhance our lives and to produce transformation? So my passion in studying astrology is, is finding ways to share astrology with people that it is self-empowering. You know, it's very nice to have people tell you things and it's very nice to be able to uh, have an astrology reading, which I do. But my ideal recently has been, why not have some mechanism we can put in place where people can discover about themselves through their own self-study of Vedic astrology. So let's look a little, little bit about how Vedic astrology works and how it may be a little different from what you've encountered before in your life with, say, Western astrology. Now, most of us begin our astrology uh, journey uh, at some point in our lives by just looking up our sun signs online. Uh, or having someone talk to us about our sun sign, or, or sharing your sun sign with someone else. It's based, basically your birthday, and we have had our opening free class in What is Your Vedic Sun Sign to kind of give you an example of how it's really easy to find someone's Vedic Sun Sign by just knowing the day they were born. And if you've done that course or that class and you've had Vedic Astrology readings, you have probably been surprised, for the most part, many of you will have a different sun sign than you do in Western astrology. And that's one of the distinctions of Vedic astrology that in my experience, working with both Western and Vedic astrology, why I find Vedic astrology to be much more powerful or accurate or just interesting than the Western astrology. So with Vedic astrology, what we've discovered is, is that as you look at the planets in the sky where they are, what constellation or sign they're in, they are different than how the Western astrologies view it. And the reason this all came about was a little, a little over 2,000 years ago. At that point in time, they started to put the signs of the zodiac in, in place. In other words, we had Aries and Taurus and Gemini and Cancer and Leo. And there's these 12 signs that the astrologers were using to divide the sky, the zodiac up, so they could tell when planets were moving from one sign to the next, like the sun, for example. And so they said, we're going to start Aries, the first sign of the zodiac. It's going to begin on the first day of spring, the spring equinox. So 2,000 or so years ago, when the sun went into Aries, it was at the time that there was the spring equinox, March 21st. So, for, so from the very beginning, March 21st was considered to be the first day of Aries. And so people who were born uh, between March 21st and, and April uh, 20th or so were said to be Aries' sun. And that was true at that time for all the astrologers. Over time, however, astrologers noticed that as time went through, as time progressed, that the sun was entering Aries a little bit later than on the spring equinox. Very little bit amount, but slowly it was starting, the sun was slowly shifting. Now, when we say the sun was shifting, the sun wasn't actually moving, but the earth was moving in such a way that when we saw the sun in the sky, it was now moving a little bit later into like, say, like March 22nd or March 23rd over a number of years, you know, like about one degree every 70, 75 years. Now, that wasn't so much at first, but now here we are over 2,000 years later when this was set up to be Aries, March 21st. And now, first degree of Aries is actually April 15th, way later than the spring equinox how we see it in the sky. So consequently, all the planets in the chart from the Western chart are adjusted basically to be about 23 degrees or so prior to what, what, how Western sees it as well. So consequently, you usually have a different sun sign. You also have maybe a different sign for the moon, your rising sign, Mercury, Jupiter, Saturn, all these signs will sometimes shift to uh, the sign previous to what you thought you were. And that can be a little, little confusing, maybe upsetting, but also kind of exciting to see, oh, 
I actually have this different perspective on myself. I have a different sign that I can find out about. That's what got me excited about Vedic astrology because I used to think I was an Aries sun and I didn't really feel like an Aries. I mean, I like to do things fast, but I, it didn't really vibe with me. And then I got to Vegas, so I just, oh, you know, actually, you're a Pisces son. I thought, that makes sense, you know, because I'm a very dreamy kind of escapist kind of guy and I like exploring other realms of consciousness and just the Piscean way of being. I thought, oh, that rings so true for me. I like that. And so I found out that some of my other plans had changed too. I thought, oh, so thank God. I really wasn't really, you know, harmonizing with what the Western astrology was telling me. And I found that to be true too over the last 25 or 30 years that I've done Vedic astrology. When I talk with people and say, you know, by the way, you know, your sun sign, you're actually a cancer. You're not really a Leo sun. And they go, oh, oh my God, thank you. I, I just couldn't live up to that Leo <laughs> mentality for some reason. And, uh, and once they started to explore that, they started to see and recognize in themselves all those qualities of the sign that they had been not in denial of, but not just being aware of. And so for me, that got me started my journey of Vedic astrology was saying, you know, I just want to find out all I can about myself now.